Everyone is talking about AI. It is quickly becoming one of the most profound developments in human history. Some say it's the future, a natural progression of where humanity is headed, while others live in fear of it. Will AI be humanity's downfall, taking jobs, making the world more efficient while totally out of our control? Or will AI be a tool to advance us into a brighter future? Let's talk about it. My name is Praying for Exits, and I run Exits Media, where we dive into exciting startups, founders, their stories, and the world of venture capital. And today, we're diving directly into the heart of AI innovation, with a particular focus on open AI and its its iconoclastic founder, Sam Altman. But who really is he? And how did he become a billionaire as one of the founders of OpenAI, one of the most significant companies in the 21st century? Well, let's start at the beginning. Born in 1985 in Chicago, Illinois, Sam Altman displayed an early interest in technology. He attended Stanford University where he majored in computer science, but left just a few credits short of graduating to pursue his entrepreneurial ventures. This decision marked the beginning of his journey in the technology industry. In 2005, Altman co-founded a technology company called Loot, a location-based social networking mobile app. Loot was part of the first batch of Y Combinator, an American-based startup accelerator founded by Paul Graham. The success of Looped, which eventually was acquired by the Green Dot Corporation in 2012 for $43.4 million, established Altman as a significant figure in the startup ecosystem. After the acquisition of Looped, Altman's relationship with Y Combinator evolved. He became a part-time partner at the accelerator in 2011, and by 2014, succeeded Paul Graham as the president of Y Combinator, running the entire program. The idea for OpenAI was born out of a convergence of Altman's interests in artificial intelligence and its concern about about the potential risks AI might pose to humanity if not built by the correct group of people. So in December 2015, alongside Elon Musk, Greg Brockman, Ilya Sutskever, Wojcik Zaremba, and John Schulman, he co-founded OpenAI. The organization was originally established as a nonprofit with the goal of ensuring that artificial general intelligence benefited all of humanity in the best way possible. Under Altman's leadership, OpenAI has made significant strides in AI research and development, including the creation of DALI, ChatGPT, and many other applications on top of their proprietary GPT network. Altman has been vocal about the potential risks and rewards of AI, advocating for policies and practices that ensure the technology is used as responsibly as possible. OpenAI is now worth over $80 billion and has recently executed partnerships with Microsoft to make it one of the most distributed forms of artificial intelligence in the world. One of the big controversies that has been hanging over the head of OpenAI, there's a big disagreement with Elon Musk, who's one of the original co-founders of OpenAI, and some of the rest of the team members. When Elon Musk originally put his original money in that seeded OpenAI, the goal was to have an open source project that was not for profit. Over time, OpenAI has quickly changed into a closed loop project, which is now for profit, which has caused a lot of friction between Elon Musk and the original team. As it currently stands, as of recording this video, Elon Musk is currently executing a lawsuit against OpenAI for the fact that they have changed so significantly in this way. The reason that OpenAI says that they've moved to a closed loop project and for profit is because they felt like if they had left OpenAI truly open source, that people who had bad intentions could take advantage of the fact that they had wide availability to some of the strongest AI in the world and use it for really bad purposes like making weapons, creating new types of pandemics, etc. All things that are perfectly viable to be done via artificial intelligence, but it's it's very hard to do if the system on which the AI is built is closed and not openly available to the public. But the fact of the matter is Elon Musk did invest into something different and they changed it without his explicit approval, which makes it from a legal perspective, something that he is technically allowed to sue over. I think the differentiating factor for Sam Altman and many other entrepreneurs is that Sam is incredibly forward thinking and thinks in a way that is completely unique to himself. Ever since he started working at Y Combinator, he's always had a very specific and thoughtful demeanor about the way that he builds companies and the way that he lives his life. And he's also somebody who is widely entrenched in the technology industry. He's an investor in many companies like Reddit, which went public, but has constantly spent his time working with entrepreneurs, being with founders and pushing really great ideas forward. And so I think that many people have trouble balancing one or two ideas. He's able to think about many different ideas and make sure they're being executed at the highest level possible. In 2023, there was a large coup that happened at OpenAI in which Sam was directly involved. Some of the other members on the team tried to get him fired, and this created about a week-long massive issue for OpenAI, in which actually Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella directly had to step in and basically make sure that OpenAI would not fire Sam and reorganize the board such that similar types of coups could not happen in the future. If you like this video, please make sure to check out some of the other videos touching on founders, startup culture, and venture capital generally. Also, drop a comment for any founders or stories you'd like us to cover in the 
the future. And please hit that subscribe button as it really helps us out with the algorithm. See you on the next one.